Welcome. This is a video about a Max for Live plugin, which is called Hocket. Hocket is available um, from the website that you can see at the moment. Um, it's donationware, so it's kind of recommended that you should donate it. The uh, developer says that everything sounds better when you pay for it. <laughs> Your music will love you for it. Hocket, the device, comes from the term hocketing. It's the distribution of a set of, of notes amongst a number of, say, performers. In this instance, it's taking the MIDI. Depending on the number of voices that we select, the notes will then be distributed amongst a similar number of devices. Now, the way that that's achieved is that you've got the sender here. So that sits here with all of the MIDI files. And then I have a number of instruments and each instrument is given a number. So whenever it comes to the first note in the sequence, there we go. Here's the second note that's arriving and so on. So you get the idea. And what I've done is that I've, um, I've positioned a number of uh, bell-like sounds. So this is the MIDI part that's being played. So let's have a listen to that. So at the moment, Hocket is set to one voice. So that means we only hear it on one instrument. So now I'm going to change it to two voices. So you can already hear this, it's quite an interesting effect. So we're going to do three. Now because this is an eight note figure, let's have a look at it. Because this is uh, an eighth note figure or eight notes in the figure itself. We're distributing those eight notes across three voices. So this means that there's a, there's a degree of kind of it's kind of not really, it's, it's, it's polyrhythmic-ish, you know, in that the voices are moving around. So you start to achieve this kind of uh, phasing effect. So every time you have an even um, distribution of voices with the uh, with the, with that 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 is easily divided with the uh, with the original MIDI figure, you have a very much a repetitive pattern. So here we move to five. So as you can see, not every device is, is they're, they're not all in the same octave. So it gives you this, this kind of, uh, sometimes an illusion of a bass line. This is six voices. You can arrange these notes across a range of different tonalities as well. Um, so this number eight is there just, just to kind of illustrate that sort of point. Now having, so we're going to go back to one voice. So here is the first example where we have a shorter MIDI figure, which is in fives against one voice, right? So now we can hear what, uh, two sounds like with five.
you can hear that whilst there's a similarity between four and two, the tonality is different because of the slightly different sort of timbral qualities of the, of the different operator synths being used. So even though they're both sort of have roughly the same sort of metrical divisions, twos and fours, um, we get something sort of slightly different here. So here's five and five. So this is where you can create a longer uh, number of up to eight hocketing voices, but you can have a shorter MIDI figure, ideally of an uneven length. So it, it, so it shouldn't be sort of two, four, six. It should be somewhere between, say, three and seven. And this will allow the voices to be uh, distributed around the eight voices. So you can really hear the effect of voice number eight. And that's one of the reasons why I made it something sort of timbrely very different from all of the other voices. So you can more easily hear these sorts of shifting patterns and how you could sort of draw out um, a kind of melodic or kind of baseline type uh, figure distributed across a number of voices. So this is the sound of seven in terms of the figure and two for the number of voices. Okay, so that's enough for now. I will do uh, a few more videos on this because there are a few more variations that we can actually deploy. Um, if you've liked what you've seen and heard please remember to like and subscribe and see you next time